The in-place workshop is a video guided group experience. Think of it as online modules your team completes together instead of by yourself. So you have the benefits of online learning, convenient, repeatable, and the benefits of live group interaction, a shared experience. Tony and I and other faculty teach core concepts and skills in suicide prevention with the help of demonstration videos. These videos show real care professionals with actors playing youth and adults expressing suicidal thoughts. Discussions and practice exercises are interwoven to help groups talk through how to apply the skills within their specific context with those that they serve. In your account, there's a download that walks you through getting started with in-place learning and hosting a workshop. The first step is to plan your workshop. Decide on how many sessions you'll want to complete the workshop. It can be broken up into multiple sessions or completed in one day. Will you host in-person sessions or over video conference? Either way, if you can schedule a meeting with your team, you can host an in-place workshop. Then invite your participants. Be sure to let them know to bring a device with them so they can complete the post-training evaluation that appears in the video toward the end of the workshop. As a host, you'll have a few tasks. Each in-place learning workshop has a workbook. Print enough for each participant or email them ahead of hosting remotely. Test playing the videos or sharing them remotely ahead of time. We provide guidance on our website. You can also connect with us there about any technical questions. During the workshop, convey enthusiasm, advance the videos, and encourage participants to talk during discussions and practice exercises. Here's how they'll be prompted. You'll see a special screen with a title, instructions, and a timer. That's how we prompt discussions in this video-based training. Follow the instructions as a group, and when the timer is done, click on the continue button to advance to the next part of the training. Towards the end of the workshop, you and the group will be prompted to complete an online evaluation. You'll see a prompt and timer on the screen. Ensure you and the group complete this important step. It certifies you completed the workshop. You'll receive a certificate, and then each person will be prompted to create their own SafeSite account using their work email. If people have questions during the workshop, it may be more timely to encourage them to write them down and post them in the community of practice or ask them at office hours. Completing the evaluation and creating SafeSite account is vital because it's how they gain access to these components of in-place learning. As the host, you can also jot down questions that come up and share them with your program or practice leader. For next steps, you should watch the seven minute introductory module to get a feel for it before you host. Then browse what else you'd want to preview.